Jerusalem is buzzing with whispers of a massive revelation. And guess who's at the center of it? None other than Netanyahu himself. Secrets are being spilled, and it's about the Jewish Messiah. This leads us to think, what's going on behind closed doors? Is it trouble or triumph? Let's dive into the video to know the reality of this mystery. Benjamin Netanyahu became the Prime Minister of Israel again, winning the election 16 months after his previous defeat. Some Jewish rabbis suggested he might be linked to the imminent Messiah, while others thought of him as a type of Messiah or the fulfillment of certain prophecies. According to the rabbi, Netanyahu could be associated with different messianic figures, such as the Messiah ben Yosef or the Mashiach ben David. These interpretations vary among religious leaders in Israel. Reports claim that Netanyahu has been having meetings with someone believed to be the Messiah. These rabbis are specifically seeking a Messiah who is not identified with Jesus Christ. This aspect is intriguing because it connects with the Bible's prophecies regarding the Antichrist and the false prophet. Rabbi Yitzhak Yorti, a respected figure in modern Israel, and Rabbi Manikem to nursing, expressed their views years before Netanyahu's recent victory. They suggested that Netanyahu might be the, the last prime minister of Israel before the Messianic age. Many ultra-Orthodox Jews in Israel hold the belief that the outcome of Israeli elections on November 1st, 2022 is significant. The possibility of Netanyahu winning again is seen by some as a step closer to the fulfillment of messianic prophecies. In all video clip, a highly regarded rabbi emphasized that Netanyahu should play a role in ushering in the Messiah. This perspective reflects a belief that Netanyahu has a specific role in the events leading to the Messiah's arrival. Netanyahu tied to Messiah, not Jesus. While there is ample evidence that Jesus Christ fulfilled Old Testament messianic prophecies, some individuals connect Netanyahu to the imminent Messiah distinct from Jesus Christ. An article from November 19, 2018, titled Netanyahu Holding the Keys for the Messiah, expresses concern about the criticism directed at Netanyahu, emphasizing the unique connection between Netanyahu and messianic expectations. In the same article, Rabbi Schneerson confided his distress, stating, it pains me as a friend, as a brother, as a close friend, to see how many people continuously spill Netanyahu's blood. Surprisingly, there's more to the story. Some believe that despite the challenges, Benjamin Netanyahu will emerge victorious. The idea is that he will stand strong on God's side and fulfill a promise made by a rabbi. The hope is that Netanyahu will play a crucial role, symbolized by handing keys to the Messiah, bringing about complete redemption. In another article from 2018, there's a fascinating concept tied to Netanyahu. It suggests that Netanyahu will pass on a significant symbol, the scepter, to the Messiah, the son of David. This ties back to the anticipation of the arrival of the Jewish Messiah, raising questions about the connection between Netanyahu and what some consider the Antichrist or the false prophet, the Messiah's two-stage process. The article also mentions a two-stage process in the Jewish belief about the Messiah. The first stage, called Mashiach ben Yosef, involves practical tasks like gathering the exiles and building the land of Israel. The second stage focuses on re-establishing the Davidic dynasty and the grandeur of the Third Temple. The Shem Mishmol suggests that someone named Jonathan will come as the reincarnation of Mashiach ben Yosef, functioning as a precursor to the Messiah from the house of David. The narrative unfolds with the understanding that Netanyahu is seen as a frontrunner in the material world, fulfilling his role to the best of his potential. Mashiach ben Yosef, symbolizing the preparation of the spiritual foundation, is likened to Netanyahu's role in readying the way for the light of Mashiach ben David. Even within the concept of Messiah ben Yosef, there are distinctions with Rabbi Shirti noting that Netanyahu excels in his role, aligning with his worldly responsibilities, traditions beyond scripture. These beliefs are rooted in traditions that go beyond the scriptural narratives. The article further speaks of Rabbi Shirti's view that Netanyahu, operating in the material world, aligns with his role, setting the spiritual groundwork. The intricate tradition speak of Jonathan, the reincarnation, Mashiach ben Yosef, eventually 
serving as second in command to Mashiach ben David, the Messiah from the house of David. As seen through these traditions, there's a rich tapestry of beliefs and prophecies beyond what is explicitly stated in the scriptures. These ideas have evolved over the years, creating a unique narrative that goes beyond the widely known biblical reality, delving into what can be considered Torah reality. In reality, there's more to the story than what we know. The Bible talks about signs and miracles, not all written down. According to John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31, the purpose of writing down specific events is so that people may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and by believing they may have life in his name. People have come up with various ideas about different messiahs and stages, not all explicitly mentioned in the Bible. This brings an intriguing connection to biblical prophecies hinting at the arrival of messiahs, followed by the anticipation of an antichrist and false prophet, as described in Matthew 10, verses 5 and 6. Jesus came to be a testimony and fulfillment to be the Messiah for the people of Israel. But we know they rejected him, leading to Jesus becoming the Messiah for the entire world, including the Gentiles, the Antichrist in prophecy, considering the rejection of Jesus by some. There is a notion in Bible prophecy that an Antichrist, this figure may be sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, those who haven't accepted Jesus Christ. A July 25th 2020 article raises an interesting perspective stating, the rabbi says the Antichrist is the Messiah the Jews are seeking. According to this article, the Antichrist is expected to have certain traits. Described as a direct descendant of King David from the tribe of Judah, he is a religious leader and a remarkable political figure. The Antichrist is anticipated to oversee the rebuilding of the third temple restore the Sanhedrin, and bring the Jewish people together in the land of Israel. The article further suggests that the Antichrist must be a Jew and a descendant of David. This aligns with 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 4, where Apostle Paul talks about someone exalting himself above all that is called God. Rabbi Mario Marinjo, a founding figure of the Messianic Jewish Shema Israel congregation, agrees with this perspective. There's a diverse range of opinions on who the Antichrist might be, ranging from a figure in Islam to a political leader or even an extraterrestrial being. The article acknowledges the multiple roles the Antichrist could potentially fulfill, emphasizing the ongoing search for a Messiah, especially among the Jewish community who for years have resisted accepting Jesus Christ. Jesus, as the Messiah and Bible prophecy, Jesus believed in a certain plan, especially when we look at many Bible prophecies focused on Israel and the third temple in Jerusalem. As mentioned in Matthew 24, verse 1, where Jesus speaks about the temple being surrounded by armies. This connects to a broader paradigm. Also, Jesus, during his time on earth, fulfilled more than 300 prophecies. Although he's the Messiah, the expectations of the Jewish people were rooted in Old Testament prophecies. They anticipated a Hebrew man born in Bethlehem, a virgin birth, a prophet like Moses, a priest in the order of Melchizedek, a king who suffered before entering glory. These expectations are found in passages like Isaiah 9, verse 6. These prophecies, including Isaiah 53, clearly show that Jesus fulfilled the messianic prophecies. It's crucial to recognize that Jesus came before the second temple's destruction, aligning with prophecies in the book of Daniel, making it impossible for anyone else to fulfill these specific prophecies. A message for everyone. The intention here is not to disregard or attack anyone's beliefs. Rather, it's about understanding that Jesus is recognized as the Jewish Messiah who fulfilled these prophecies. This information is not meant to criticize or harm those who follow different beliefs, but it's as clear as it can be that Jesus is indeed the Messiah. For individuals open to exploring God's plan, whether they are Jewish or follow Islam. It's suggested to study the prophecies fulfilled by Jesus. This is not about rejecting God, but understanding how Jesus aligns with the prophecies, providing a different perspective. Now looking at Benjamin Netanyahu's role in ushering in the Messiah. There are talks about him handing the keys to the Messiah. These discussions tie back to the broader theme of Messiah and redemption, echoing the belief in a connection between Netanyahu and the coming Messiah, 
recognizing significance in the coming times. It's important for everyone, especially the Jewish people and Christians, to be watchful. When new leaders and potential messiahs emerge, they might seek control over governments and world affairs. This signals a crucial point, possibly leading to the Antichrist, as indicated in Bible prophecy. And it's also crucial for Christians to pay attention to these happening. When a leader emerges, claiming to solve all problems, there's a possibility that they might be associated with the Antichrist or the false prophet. For those who doubt or follow different beliefs, like Islam or Judaism, it's suggested to investigate Jesus, pray, talk, and test the reality of Jesus. He can reveal himself as the true Messiah and the world's savior. Establishing a connection with Jesus is how to understand his truth and the path to God. What do you think of Jerusalem being in trouble and Netanyahu's connection to the Messiah? Comment below, subscribe for more.